Yo. Yo. There no, no no background music, no. <sighs> what? Okay. So Tori goes back and then you know, that's that, that's really good. Tori goes back. It's back. Tori goes back. You know, say Tori goes back. And it's chapter 264. It's been a time skip, that's very obvious. According to what Torgo said in the chapter, it's been about a year and it's been over a year and a half. So let's say a year, eight months. I don't know exactly, but it's been over a year and a half. And the chapters start off pretty nice, I'm not going to lie, because we get to see Toriko in his new environment, we get to see Toriko in the gourmet world, and you know how crazy it is. It starts off raining gummies, then raining chocolates and marshmallows, and occasionally the, you know, falling mountain. So crazy, and then we have mountain-eating pelicans, like, and they're eating mountains. I'm like, oh shit! Like, that's crazy. That's, that, that's insane. And then he apparently, he's in this place called the Land Sea, where it's like a giant plain, but instead of being actual, you know, rock, it's like water substance thing. I don't know. It acts like an actual ocean, an actual sea, which is crazy. And we saw this nice little color page before of the characters. We get to see Komatsu. He looks kind of older. So there's been a time scale. And you can see from, from the color page alone that time has passed. Now, my issues with the chapter come where in which he has the mountain eater eggs, and he goes back to, like, this hobbit home, this, this like, place where Frodo and Sam live, right? Bilbo Baggins. They're just chilling in this little, you know, wood hobbit place. And he throws in the giant mountain eater egg thingy, right, in the hobbit home, and he winds up going into, like, this area where in which there are all these ingredients piled high. And he looks at the actual ingredients, and he has all these things, and they are, they are quote-unquote, souvenirs. And he's like, yo, so do, you want to go back, so do you want to go back to the human world? Komatsu. Do you want to go back to the human world? Komatsu. And Komatsu, and I'm like, wait, wait, pause. I had to stare at the page for like 15 minutes. I was like, wait, hold on. What? Komatsu. Is back. Apparently. Him and Toriko. Have been chilling. In the gourmet world. For a year. Not only that. But. When you take a look at the sense of time going on here if if it's been over a year and a half since they've been in the human world that means that Toriko had attained Komatsu between six and 11 months when he first entered the gourmet world. And what's so ironic about this is that we're going to kick off, we're going to kick off the second half of Toriko, the gourmet world half of Toriko, by going back to the human world.
The irony in that is phenomenal. It is absolutely phenomenal. So, I can't really say that this has been one of the best chapters of Mitsutoshi's Toriko, nor can I say it's one of the best chapters I've seen for a time skip, because most of the stuff that you would think that you would see when it comes to the introductory of the gourmet world was skipped over. It was glazed over. It was done off screen, off panel. Toriko's entry to the gourmet world now, when it came to the skipping time, I understand. When it came to, you know, yeah, yeah, that to me, I understand. Just the time skip itself. But Komatsu, no. Uh, uh. So Toriko's entry into the gourmet world. Toriko experiencing new environments, crazy species of animal, him adjusting himself to the gourmet world, him attaining Komatsu, and the, you know, situation, I mean, because we don't even know if he actually went to the Bushukakai headquarters to attain Toriko, I mean, to attain Komatsu, but nonetheless... Him attaining Komatsu. Then him chilling with Komatsu for a year. In the gourmet world. Komatsu adjusting to the gourmet world. Komatsu and Toriko going off on adventures. And seeing all these species. And cooking up all these ingredients. All that has been skipped. And to make things better, we're not going to see the gourmet world just yet. No, no siree. <laughs> no. Back to the human world. Oh, boy. All right. So, not exactly. And I was, you know, talking to my friend, Matt, because he reads Story Gun. And, 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 you know, he was saying, like, yo, because he, he read the chapter uh, on this really shitty site. Um, where they actually had the, you know, like the scans were actually like the English was underneath the actual Japanese kanjis. So, you know, really bad, really bad. But he was like, not even dialogue can save this chapter. And I'm sitting here, I'm like, well, you know, it's a time skip. So there are some, there are going to be some, because I assume there's going to be a time skip from the, from Jump Street. I had that feeling. Because they were taking a month off. And I'm like, shit. Like, normally when mangaka do that, either it's to, either it's some incident in their lives actually, you know, happen where they take breaks or it's some kind of monumental thing occurring in the manga. So a time skip was very plausible. And, and in fact, a time, skip, a time skip actually occurred. But it's just the whole Komatsu bit. Like, that throws me off massively. And also, knowing that no later point in time did Terry... Follow Toriko into the gourmet world. Really? Really? So, so Terry the entire time for a year and a half was in the human world? Terry didn't follow his buddy, his pal, Toriko, into the gourmet world to help him out? Like, yeah, I got you, man. I'll be right here. Bark, bark. No? No? And then, like, the chapter ends off with, like, apparently they're going to carry the food back. So, obviously, all the food that Torka has gotten is for, uh, it's, it's sustenance for the people of the human world. And that's very obvious. And, um, also, they're going to go over to, uh, uh, no, well, they, we, we see, like, the human world. Like, we see, like, this truck, and it's carrying some kind of pill. Some almond something. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I forgot the exact name, but whatever. The thing here is that, um... I'm just not too thrilled about the chapter. I'll be very honest. I'm just not. 
I think the chapter was a bad chapter. I'll be very honest. Because... It, I mean, you can't deny the irony. You, you just can't. You can't deny that we're going to kick off the Gurmi world and the human world of all fucking places. Not only that, but the solo time... You see, we can assume that... We can say, or I'm going to assume that when Toriko goes back to the human world and they go back to the gourmet world at some later point in time, I don't know. The thing here is that they're going to go as a unit. I mean, that's my assumption. It's going to be Toriko, Sunny, Coco, Zero. They're going to go in as a unit. That's my assumption. But, so basing that, so basing this on my assumption... That means that we will not get to see Toriko solo in the gourmet world for a long time because Toriko solo in the gourmet world has been skipped. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I mean, so I'll be very, I'll be very honest. I mean, it's it's a shame, but I think the chapter was a bad chapter. I mean, I, I do, I do. I, I think it's a bad chapter. So there's, I mean, because it again, it was cool seeing the mountain eater and the falling mountains and this new land sea environment. But we only saw one environment. We don't know. I mean, who's to say that Toriko didn't explore 17, 18, 19, hundreds of different environments when he was by himself in the Grimmie World before he got up, before he caught up with Komatsu? And then who's to say that they, that they didn't explore even more environments when they were together? And you would think that Komatsu would die in the Grimmie World, but here he is, A-OK. -okay. So seeing that it, seeing that adjustment, I think is quintessential, because Komatsu is a weak dude. He, he is. But apparently, yeah, uh, no. just not not one of the best chapters of Toriko, and it's a shame because it kicks off the time skip, and it's like, oh, oy. I mean, maybe it would have been better. Had it been like, you know, like 40 page special, that would be really cool to see. That would have been very nice to see, like a 40 page Torigo special and, you know, seeing more and, you know, making a lot more progress, making a lot more leeway into the actual story where in which they got to the human world and they met up with Sunny and Coco and Zebra and those guys and like they end off there. Something like that. But no, we're going to end off with them going back to the human world. So yeah, I'm I'm not a fan. I'm not. I'm just really not. So I'm done. All right. Uh, I'll see you guys next week for Toriko. I mean, again, it's not like a freaking. No, no, no. Listen, not listen. To... I'll end it here. All right, because when I start talking too much, I I yeah, it's not beneficial to the overall video. So I'll leave it at that. King of Lightning chapter reading. Unfortunately, bad chapter, and that's my take. If you feel if you feel different than if you feel differently, then by all means, go ahead. But I'm telling you why I feel the way I do, and I think it's for and I know fuck that I know it's for legitimate reasons. So yeah, I'm done. King Lightning, rate the video, comment, and subscribe as always. Peace. Have a nice day. And Matt, you're right. You're right. Dialogue did not save the chapter. It's unfortunate, but it did not say the chapter. Have a nice day. Yo, um, actually, no. Before I do go, I actually realized a few things. Upon second look, uh, first of all, yeah, like, there was this whole talk about Toriko being able to actually, like, survive. Like, he can sleep for one hour. And that equivalent hour equals two weeks without any sleep. Which is, again, it shows you that he's grown. He's grown, but again, we didn't see most of his growth. And the second thing. Is that at the end of the chapter, we see this pill, and it's called the uh, Almond Cabbage. And basically, what I'm thinking here is that it involves Ichiryu's fruit. Ichiryu's um, full course ingredient. Where, like, his full course together makes, like, this ingredient that can, you know, like, expand or it can uh, continue to be grown 
or fed the people infinitely, and it tastes bad, but you can survive. All, you 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 can survive off of it. There we go. So the thing here is that I believe that the almond cabbage pill has something to do with that. Has something to do with each use full course. So yeah, I'm done. I'll see you later.